Okay, guys. So after after oh, she's running. We got to run her. Uh, so after four hours of watching the uh, interns sitting over here breaking my stuff. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> no, he actually had a, a brilliant idea, and uh, we took it up and uh, actually made it quite the little project. But it's something that if we could we could actually produce these at a, a better scale, I think that this would solve some problems. So normally when we work with Alaris pumps, everywhere I've gone, I, I see these the trip lights and uh, it's a serial port server. And yes, you can run multiple pumps off one unit, but who honestly does that? And if you're in the field, you're definitely not gonna do that. So we got a cool little USB-C, since USB-C is the standard, uh, straight to serial. And I think that this little guy is gonna be a game changer. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here you can see our, this actually has the chip in it. This is the communications, the serial port server. And it's a flexible cord, so it's gonna stow easily. But this is just a prototype, so we just cut the end off our RJ45. We found the correct pinout between the two devices. And it's working. Holy cow, it's like four hours later, it's working. But take a look at the size of this cable. So compared to this guy and how cumbersome it is, this little flexible cable is all we need to talk between a modern day laptop or a cell phone to your pump. Because it's USB-C, we can connect this guy to a cell phone if we had a Windows phone or something. But uh, anyway, it's working. You can see it. Oh, disconnect it. Is it gonna drop me out of maintenance mode? So that is it. This little guy right here on Amazon was a little bit of a challenge and uh, it's got some soft flexible core um, so the next stop would be to actually take the pin out that we now know and convert it over for this guy right here uh, so that we put RJ45 straight on this cable and uh, that would be a finished product good as it gets guys <laughs> 